Hey everybody, it's Matt from Electric All Wheel. We have the Ingway EP2 folding electric bike. It is a 48 volt system. We're gonna use the Electric All Wheel 20 amp balancer kit, and we're gonna go ahead and get this installed. We have already placed the battery. We haven't run the straps. We're just gonna use those to hold the wire as we fish it through the bottom here. We'll try and hold the same line. We're gonna do an internal install on the frame. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. Check out our Facebook page. Check out our website, electricallwheel.com. You'll find the store and some articles to help bring all of these things together. If you have other Ingway products, make sure that they are compatible. This will not work with Regen. All right, here we go. These things are super small, so look out. Keep in mind that the plate sits in this orientation, it should match your battery face, and it is offset. So there's our Dean's T plug. So the plate sits like this. We took all four screws off. And here is the controller orientation. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold this thing up. And see if I can get this inside. And the answer is yes. So I know now that I can get this underneath and fit. What I know that it's running into right now is the fact that one, the frame is not perfectly square and also the wiring comes up through the bottom here uh, at about this depth. So it's not using the full depth. By the same token, I could just slip it over the top. And if I look at that orientation, I see that I know there's space on the sides and I know there's some up front. I think I'm gonna be okay. I'll be able to turn these in and then I'll use some of the spacing up front here and then turn them down and then we'll just close it up. First thing I need to do is get my wire into the housing. I'm going to look at my balancer and see which one of the ports I need. And it's in, in right here on the plate. I'm gonna take one of the in ports for the battery, find this plug for the cable, plug it in. I know that this is the end that needs to come up. So the male XT60, not necessarily the male plugs. Now I'm gonna take that, plug it into one of the battery in ports. I'm going to unplug my plate, plug in the appropriate adapter, and then I'm going to plug in this adapter. This is the out of the balancer to the controller. This is my factory battery, which is the plate. So that is the connection for your battery plate. So we'll take the adapter for this one, plug it in to the T-plug. and then take that and plug it in to the balancer. 
So right now, you know that I have the battery in and this is the uh, connector for the battery. And then what I can do immediately is just find my cable down here and then plug in my cable extension. So now I have this extended cable, so I know it'll reach. I may not even need to use it. I'll have a look at that before I actually continue with the install, but for now, I just want to test. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. So it is now plugged into the battery, and what we'll see is that if there is power, and there is, perfect. We have power to the controller. We know that this isn't uh, plugged in because it's detached from the faceplate, so that power is being drawn from the bag battery. So now I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna try the flip first and just see how much depth I can get out of it. That's pretty good. I also know that this wire over the top is in the way for the whole of everything. So I'm gonna see if I can get that down on the side. I'm gonna reach in the back and try and pull simultaneously. It feels like it needs to go on the other side because of the way, there it is, yeah. So what I'm doing is just kind of gently working everything around the side. So that worked even better. I just flipped this around and then ran it right over the top, used up the rest of the space. So we hadn't strapped it up. Like I said, um, we know now that we don't even need the second cable. This thing is plenty long enough for the EP2. It is a high step frame. So there's a short distance from here to the battery. So we can go ahead and remove the extension. What I'm gonna do is just wrap it up. So some of this will actually fit inside. You can unzip your bag, but I prefer the more of the closure on the bag. There's an overlap in fabric, which I really like. So you can see that we've unplugged this battery and you'll see that we still have power. So we know that that is the factory battery. So we'll go ahead and put this in line. There you go. It is a rainy day here in Florida, but we got it done. This is the Ingway EP2. This is the 500 watt rear hub, 48 volt, 12 and a half amp hour version of the Ingway EP2. It's an older model. It has the mag wheels, which I really, really like. We got caught out in the rain test driving. Uh, we're really happy with this setup. Didn't take very long. The compartment is smaller, so there is the possibility of wiring this externally. What you can do is just run both of your extension cables through the bottom. 
plug them in with your XT60 adapters and then bring the balancer outside to the battery and then tuck the balancer inside the bag with the battery. We've done this application. You could check that video out with the electrics on our channel. Any one of the variety of electrics are going to be pretty much the same thing as this EP2. So if you want to check out more videos on how to go about this, some of the orientation, if you have a hard time slipping the balancer in there, uh, those videos will help you out. But we got it done. This is a great bike. Ingway puts out some powerful products. We're happy to have this one with us for a little bit. It's our first time with an Ingway product, so we will see how it goes. Just to get an idea for the mileage, if we were to do this bike alone, it's got a 12 and a half amp hour battery times 48 volts equals 600 watt hours. And if we take the Micatol constant and run that calculation, 600 divided by 25 watt hours per mile, is 24 miles that's throttle only on this 48 volt Ingway bike. This is dependent on your weight, this is dependent on the tires, how much they are inflated, and then your riding style overall, and your terrain, and the elements is the wind blowing. So keep that in mind. Now for the grand finale, so you know what this brings to the table, we are gonna do that with the addition of the battery. So it's 12 and a half plus 10 equals 22.5 times 48, 1,080 divided by the mica toll constant of 25 watt hours per mile at 20 miles an hour, throttle only 43 miles. So that is the calculated range. I'm gonna guess for somebody my size, I'm gonna get 35 to 40 miles out of this bike at 20 miles an hour. There you have it. This is the recommended battery. You are not isolated to this battery. It doesn't have to be this 10 amp hour. You can put a, a 20 amp hour on there if you want to. You just have to find a good place to rest your bike or your battery and know where it's going to be stored. I like this spacing here. I like how it sits inside uh, the frame and is protected and it doesn't take up any of the usable space that was already incorporated on this. We're gonna have some fun with this bike. If you're in the area of Tampa Bay, Florida, join eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida on Facebook. It is a public group. Get in there, make an event for your area. Let people know you're going to ride and see what happens. I know it's hot right now, so typically these rides happen in the morning or in the morning on the weekends and then evenings for everybody's favorite ride out to where the, wherever they are in sunny Florida. Uh, so join that group and start an event. Say hello. Show us your bike. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on TikTok. YouTube is our primary, so please give us a like and subscribe. We'll talk to you next time.